Hi there, it's Chris Price here from Shiny Shiny and Tech Di Digest. I'm here with Armin, who's a founder and CEO of Shadecraft. Now, sh tell me, what is exactly is Shadecraft, Armin? Well, Shadecraft is a robotics uh, startup based in Los Angeles, and our mission is to improve human life outdoors. Yeah. And Sunflower, this product that you see here, is the first featured product of our company. Okay. Which we launched at CES this year, and we're really excited to have it uh, delivered to London, uh, first time out of the U.S. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, it's a prototype, and uh, we'll talk a little bit about its features. Okay, well, let me just turn this up upside down so we can get a full view of it, because it's quite tall, isn't it? How tall is that exactly? Ten feet. About ten foot tall, yep. Okay. And, and what does it do? Well, we can start by uh, ask, talking to it. Okay. Sunflower open. Sunflower opening. It is the world's first autonomous robotic shading system that okay. is AI integrated. And that's opening quite quickly as well, isn't it? Yes, actually. We would prefer it not to be too fast for safety reasons. Yeah. Uh, so first and foremost, it has solar panels. It's mm -hmm. completely autonomous, follows the sun, and it retains uh, basically the solar energy and transfers that to automation and provides basically comfort to the to the actual consumer. Mm -hmm. um, so it has onboard speakers, uh, which basically can play your music, for example. Okay, and obviously Sunflower, it's voice activated as well. Play yeah. classical. Right. It's very low. Sunflower, play classical. We dim the volume. Oh, that's lovely. The place singing in the rain. Actually, there's a little British surprise I have. I can just hear. I can just hear this. Sunflower, stop. Sunflower, play. Okay. Ro Sunflower, play rock. It's being ornery. Sunflower, play rock. It's being ornery. Too much noise outside. Sunflower, play rock. <laughs> That's for you guys. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but Rolling Stones. Put it through a demo mode. So it's like it's dancing at the moment. Yeah. It's actually doing a calibration to follow the sun. Yeah, of course. So, um, who do you imagine will, will buy this product then? I mean, who's it aimed at? Oh. So basically, uh, we, we believe that the consumer is looking for intelligent solutions to connect to their smart home ecosystem. Yeah. And we believe that the parasol uh, was the most viable product to integrate multiple technologies into, starting with AI integration. Yes. So let's say you're outdoors, you're listening to your music, you ask it to play your music, you want to read a podcast, uh, you want it to basically control your in-home lights, your thermostat, your ring doorbell, uh, communicating to the rest of the smart home ecosystem. Aside from that, you can charge your computer, you can charge your phone, uh, you can take it to the beach, it detaches from its base, and okay. so you can, it's portable enough that you can actually take it into your car. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so for us, we believe that it's, it's a necessary product as the way basically technology is moving soon. I think my children would be asking if a regular parasol does anything. <laughs> so uh, we, we believe that we're the, I mean, we know that we are the pioneers of this technology. Definitely, yeah. And we're really excited to finally bring everything from the inside uh, to the outside. Uh, this is an alpha model, isn't it? It's prototype. Correct. correct. So when does the uh, when does the finished version become available? <clears throat> we are testing the betas currently, yeah. and we're really excited uh, to be able to launch uh, the pre-sale campaign very shortly. We'll announce that. Yeah. And it will be available to the public next year. We'll start with the U.S., uh, U.K., and France and Germany next yeah. year, and the rest of the world soon to continue after. And is it is it uh, too soon to talk about the kind of price that we expect to pay for this? 
Um, Intelligent device, parasol? Uh, well, um, basically, we, we know generally where it's going to end up. Uh, we're trying to reduce the price as much as we can. Uh, so we're analyzing that at the moment. But we obviously are going to be building this in the US. Uh, it's going to be an American product. Mm -hmm. And so we believe that it might be in the range of approximately 3,000 uh, uh, pounds. OK, OK. And right. for, for, the, for the consumer that has already, I think that there's uh, <clears throat> parasols have become a commodity. So because this is the first of its kind product in the world, uh, consumers are used to, for example, paying several thousand pounds for a smart toilet. <laughs> Uh, but as soon as uh, we get into a parasol, uh, they're wondering why something would be costing that much. But mm. there are equivalent parasols for thousands of pounds uh, being sold all around the yeah, world. Yeah, which don't have any intelligence. Correct. They're That's just aluminum uh, and fabric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I wish you luck with this device. It's certainly very interesting. Let's see if we can get a, Thank you. a long shot of it. <laughs> That's great. Thank you. Thank you.